grew up in Marion, Ohio, and moved to Columbus in 1971. I've always enjoyed making things. I just think just natural extension and to combine the, my love of music with, with the woodworking. My name is Tom Davis. I've been making guitars in Columbus since 1975. I was working um, as a Finnish carpenter as I was uh, finishing up college. I was talking to the original owner of the string shop, which was right across from the Union on in campus. And he said, well, you're a guitar player, build a guitar. And I said, people build guitars. And he got a hold of the one and only book on the subject and gave it to me. I built a classical guitar for myself. A couple other students wanted one. And eventually uh, ended up building as a, as a career. I was the 50th member of a national guild at that time. There were just very few people doing it. Um, today there are tens of thousands. Originally I opened a store in Grandview in 1977. It was difficult to sell instruments. I mean, if it didn't say Gibson or Martin on it, well, what's that, a homemade guitar? People now know that the best instruments don't come from factories. And the fun part of it is now the manufacturers are imitating some of the processes and techniques of the individual builders, where we were chasing them, trying to equal them in the very beginning. And that's probably one of the most fulfilling things in my career is to see it and, and, and be a part of it. Instrument building is, you know, the foundation is certainly science, but it's uh, more of an art or a craft and a lot of in intuition and experience. Sometimes people ask what the best woods are and I say there aren't best woods, they're more expensive and less expensive wood, but it depends upon the sound that you're looking for. Conceivably, if I worked day and night and weekends, I could probably build a guitar in two weeks, not the finish, but have it all put together. Guitar building is certainly ingrained into who I am. You put so much of yourself goes into it. The most rewarding part of the process, I think, is when the instrument's finished and the player comes to pick it up, plays it for the first time, um, and is often surprised that that's what they were looking for in terms of the sound. <laughs> 